Hello everybody, this is Michael from Next Gen Update and I am here bringing you another tutorial and by the way, when this video is done, click the link below and sign up for Next Gen Update, it's a great site, we help a lot and I'm guaranteed you love it. So, today's tutorial is how to make flame signature or flame text. So, this is what it's going to look like at the end when you're done with your project. Anyway, so the first step is to go to File New, pick any size you like. I already got my size and press Control Backtick. If that doesn't work, you can just press uh, the Paint Buggy tool and make that black and click it. So the next step is to add your text. I'll be putting my text right there. So it doesn't need to be that big, it doesn't need to be that small. Make it um, whatever you think would be good. So the next step is to go uh, File, I mean Edit, go to Transform, Rotate Clockwise, go to Filter, um, Stylize, and Wind. I'm going to press Wind and from the left. I press wind and go to wind twice, see that? Go to edit, transform, stop books, edit, transform, counterclock, let's put it back where it was. So now you got this. Now the next step is to go to filter, um, blur, Gaussian blur press OK. So then you're going to want to make a new layer, then you go to image, apply image. Then you're going to want to press Control U, and press colorize, and type in 18 for the hue and 100 for saturation. Then you get this. So then the next step is to do is do typing again and then put it right on top so it comes out more sharpened. So you got that done. The next step is go to filter and liquify to make the flames. So you wanna press you're gonna wanna press the you know, merge this down by pressing control E. And then you have to click on it and go to filter it and liquefy. So then you're gonna wanna I'll zoom in and go to the brush. Start with the brush at about 61 size and just drag and pull. Drag and pull. I really suck at making flames, so this is not my thing. But if you're a good flame drawer, and this is good for you. Just drag and pull the basic points. So yeah, you guys get the point. I'm not looking at my ugly drawing. Anyway, press OK. It's going to do a little loading return. And that's what it looks like. I know it's ugly, but I'm not really a flame maker. I'm still learning how to make those perfect flames that everybody draws. So, not exactly like this, but you get the point. So then when you save it, go to File, Save As. Save it as a PNG and save it as anything you like. And press save. I'm going to press cancel because I don't want to save it. Press save and you, can, you got your plain text. Then you can put it as your background like I did right here. And yeah, so hope you guys enjoyed this video. Check out my other tutor tutorials and make sure to go to Next Gen Update and check out uh, everything that's there. Yeah. 
thanks for watching guys.